What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Most of your friends are not really your friends. Yes, they are not really your friends. And I know this is coming off kind of paranoid. I know this is coming off as a like the whole world is against me type of deal. I do not want you guys to think that. I just want you guys to be extremely careful of who you call a friend because trust and believe as you get older, right? When we're younger, we wanna have a large group of friends. It's only natural us as human beings to wanna be accepted, especially when you are younger, when you are developing, when your social skills and your brain development is developing. Yeah, you're gonna wanna have a large group of friends and to be accepted, okay? But I'm gonna get into this. This is Tarek Talks. You guys could have been anywhere in the world, but you are here with me and I humbly appreciate it. Y'all, most people that you come in contact with, most people that you are going to meet, that you're gonna be hanging around with, are not really your friends. They are not really your friends. They are really people in disguise. You understand what I'm saying? Just because you hang out with someone a lot, just because you're around them, just because you go here and there with them, don't think they are your friends. Be extremely careful and like I said, previously in a video, this is not for you guys to be all paranoid. This isn't to mess with your brain and just give everyone a side eye. No, this is to make you careful of who you let in your life and basically to be careful of who you associate with and who you hang around with because a lot of these people mean you no good. I'm just going to be straight up. This, this is a harsh part of the video, but you know, life isn't all rainbows peaches and cream, roses and happy-go-lucky. There are a lot of dark aspects to life. There are a lot of harsh realities to life. And this is one of them. This is one of the harsh realities that, hey, look, you don't have to take my word for it. Life itself is going to show you as you progress, as you mature. Most of these people that you hang around with mean you no good. They do not have the best interest. As a matter of fact, they really don't even care about you. They don't care about you because as soon as you leave their presence, guess what? They are going to be talking bad about you. Yes, the people that you hang out with, that you consider your friends and all that bullshit, as soon as you leave their presence, they will be talking about you. I mean, the things that they say about you are dastardly, right? The things that they say about you are despicable. That's how bad it is. But they say that when you leave and you're thinking, damn, these people are my friends, right? Right? <laughs> big question mark, big, huge question mark. Nah, really, they're not, bro. Um, And this is another thing too. The, pe the people that you call your friends, watch how they talk about their other so-called friends. If you are hanging, let's say you're in a small a circle, you know what I mean? A small friend group. And when one person leaves, peep how one of them starts talking about that friend. I'll give you an example. Let's say you hang out with Eddie and Steve, right? So Steve, he's not there, okay? It's just you, Eddie, y'all hanging out together. And then all of a sudden, Eddie starts talking shit about Steve. And not just uh, a little, you know, a little joke here and there, which we all do. I be joking. I be talking my little trash here. You know, joking. You know how fellas, you know what I'm saying? That friendly, you know, friendly joking, friendly competition. No, no, no. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about talking about this man, Eddie, talking about Steve's just whole personal intimate details that nobody else was even supposed to know. I'm talking about that type of talking trash behind his back. And Eddie is talking just mad crap about Steve. And you over here thinking to yourself, hmm, wait a minute. I thought these guys were like real close. I thought they were good buddies, right? Damn, they've been hanging out since they were damn near kids, since they was in school, since they was in high school. And he talking bad about him like that? Dang, I, I kind of thought they were really cool, right? And you get a little taken back. You get a little shocked. You actually get a little shocked. You're like, dang, I thought... I thought they were actually really cool and you kind of 
are like, hmm, damn, something doesn't really sit right with you. You get that little gut feeling. Trust that gut feeling because trust and believe Eddie is talking trash about Steve. He's going to be talking trash about Tim. He's going to be talking trash about Tommy. He's going to be talking shit about Dan. And guess what? He's going to be talking shit about you. That's right. You think, see, this is where a lot of people go wrong. You think that you're exempt. You think that you're safe. You think, oh, no, he's talking about him. I, I'm, I'm his friend, right? I'm his friend. He, he wouldn't do that to me. He wouldn't trash talk about me. Guess again. Yes, he would. If he was talking shit about Steve, what makes you think you're any more special, right? These people, these type of people that you call friends, a lot of the time are miserable as shit. So what they do is they talk trash about the closest people to them. And who are those? Friends. Yes, guys, I'm not, you can you can think that I have uh, a low, you know, that my friend group was bad or whatever like that. Or maybe you're like considering socioeconomic and all that good stuff. Trust and believe people from the lowest of the depths of society to the most high end, high class, high society do this, do this stuff. Especially in this in this type of and I'm I'm telling y'all, bro, in this type of environment. Okay? People that you think that are your friends talk trash about you. Never tell your friends anything about your personal life. I don't care how close you think you is. I don't care how much he's your ninja, you know, your ace boon coon, how much he's just a homie, he's your brother, all of that shit. I don't care about any of that. Do not tell him about anything personal because I will tell you what, as soon as this guy gets with some, right? You might've known him for 10 years. As soon as this guy gets with some broad that he's probably known for only three months, every little personal thing that you told him in them 10 years of all your intimate friendship and just being brothers and all that good shit, this chick that he's been knowing for three months, this random, random broad, okay, he's going to tell her all of your life story in one night. He's going to tell her your whole life story in one night. Everything that you told him, everything that you done effed up in, all of your failures in life, every, you know, your religion. I'm telling y'all this from experience. You could believe whatever you want, right? Like I said, from the, from the, the depths of disparity of society to the highest of social classes, to the highest of the bourgeois, elite, whatever you want to call it. You feel me? And this is this just runs rampant. I've seen it in jobs. This is what really what you want to talk about red pill. When I was younger, bro, I used to really just care about being accepted and shit like that when I was younger. And unfortunately, this really affects people that are somewhat nice, right? The, the, the nicer you are, the more your friends are going to, you know, do try to pull fast ones on you and say slick shit and talk behind your back. Not saying to be an a-hole, you should always be generous, right? You should always be generous and be kind. You don't have to associate with no one. Uh, these people, you don't have to be mean to them. You don't have to do any of that. Just cut off all ties, cut off all connections. But back to what I was saying, I be, as, as I started noticing a trend where people would just talk shit about their closest friends, and I started experiencing this with my own friends, right? My own friends talking shit about me. And I'm like, man, you know what? There's really no such thing as friend like that, okay? I, I hang out with people. Yes, I do. Y'all might see me hanging out with, with folk here and there. That's all fine and dandy. But to be honest with you, I kind of keep my distance like to a point now where, you know, there's this thing where people that barely know you ask for your Instagram, right? I don't like giving out my IG. And I know I put my IG on here for you guys. You guys, you know, you only see me on the internet. You don't really know me, like you don't know me in person. And if you do know me in person, that's fine too. But I'm talking about people that, you know, I talk to once or twice or work out with once or twice. They're like, what's your IG, man? Or someone I just meet now and about, what's your IG? I don't like giving it out because I just don't know these people 
I don't I, I know these people have the propensity to be conniving and backstabbing and I know I'm once again I'm sounding paranoid which like I said the world is harsh bro I've been I noticed this stuff as I was growing up that same person that you call your friend your your a1 a1 day one as soon as you break up with your old lady right let's say you got an old lady let's say you got an old lady that you've been with baby mama whatever the case is as soon as you break up with her he is going to slide in her DMs and say, hey, I heard you and Tarek broke up. Are you okay? Do you need to talk? You know that chick that you talking to, right? You know that chick that you are messing with and, and you're trying to get a little closer to? Guess what? Your friend is going to try to back though and talk to, talk to her when you're not there. Happened to me a cup I, I can I, I I I know instances where this shit happened to me, bro. And I'm like, dang, I thought we was homies. You feel what I'm saying? Here you is. As soon as I break up with my old lady, right? As soon as I break up with my old lady, you back going and trying to slide in. And I've been, you know, this this the chick I've been with, and you posted me and my my brother and shit. Like there's principles. But like I said, man, people. Don't play by the rules. Most people that you meet do not play by the rules. Most people that you meet are not really your friends. When it comes right down to the nitty gritty, whatever benefits them, whatever they can do to excel in their life, right? They will do it with no hesitation. No hesitation. And then you'll be thinking like, nah, that's my that's my homie. I, I, he would never do that. He would never gossip up he would never tell my my deepest darkest you know secrets or intimate or intimate conversations that i have he would never tell anyone about that he he wouldn't he wouldn't <laughs> i think you better reevaluate that right i cannot harp this enough ladies and gentlemen do not tell your your friends are not obligated to know about your personal life there is no obligation for them to know about your personal life. Trust and believe they're going to be pillow talking about that shit when they're laid up or when they're with their other homeboys in the other social circle. They're going to talk shit about you and drag your name through the mud. Okay. And are there some good people out there? Yeah, for sure. There is far few in between. Good luck trying to find them. You feel me? Good luck trying to find people that are act that actually are your true friends. So with that being said, man, the moral of the story is just watch out. Watch who you call a friend because a friend, that's a powerful word. Don't be throwing it all willy nilly. All right. You know, with that being said, I'm out. Peace.